When you look at the pictures of bikini bodybuilders, you see that that's hard work. You know, you understand. But you think that it has to do more so with exercise. And that's actually not the truth. Honestly, what I am seeing and what I've heard is that it's mostly about the nutrition. That is the hardest part, you know. Um, the exercise, you know, it's easier once you start to cut down most of the fat. You are able to see, you know, where you need to sculpt and how and your body responds to that, you know. And But the, the, the key is making sure that those muscles that you're training are actually showing up and people can actually see it. And the only way that they can see it is if your nutrition is as sharp as a number two pencil, so much so that you burn the fat down to where you are like 17% body fat. So right now I'm 25% body fat. But, you know, over the next two months, I'm gonna work on burning the fat mostly, you know? Um, as that fat comes off, it's going to reveal my muscles more and that's when I'll actually be able to see, okay, I need to tone here and spot here, etc. Because you can determine where the fat goes, but you can actually determine how your muscles become shaped in the way that you exercise. So it can be harder or easier depending on what you want and what type of genes you have set up already. You know, for me, I naturally have strong legs. So my calves, they look great already right now. I don't really have to do that much for my calves. Um, but I have to work on my thighs and I have to work on um, my abs and I have to work on my arms and things like that. I just can't wait for that fat to like really start burning off. When that happens, then, then I can really start to get somewhere. This is breakfast. I have an avocado toast, kiwi, tomatoes, egg, nuts, coffee, and it's fresh squeezed orange juice. Um, the avocado is for my fats. The uh, nuts are for my fats. Can't eat too many of those, so, you know. Um, the tomatoes, honestly, just to make me feel more full. And, uh, <clears throat> Because it's so low in calories, you know, it won't really affect anything too much. And the kiwi, it's for me to have my fruit, um, but I really want something sweet with this. And the egg is for my protein. It's just one egg. I'm going to stick to just having one egg in the morning because I want to make sure that I can spread my proteins out throughout the day. The coffee, again, is to help me with the, you know, satiation, make me feel full. And the orange juice is just because I want it. <laughs> For lunch, I'm eating a whole grain or whole wheat um, cinnamon and raisin bread slice. Uh, one strawberry, a little piece of dark chocolate, sugar-free, with um, some grapes and some uh, chicken fajita meat from last night. So um, I'm trying to spread out my proteins and carbs so that I don't end up in a situation where I have to eat a whole bunch of one food group tonight, you know? If I keep it balanced like this, then it'll work out for me where I can eat a balanced meal for each and every meal. So I'm down three pounds and I have lost an inch a few inches around my waist. Um, really excited about that. I'm only six pounds away from my high school weight. So that's huge. The biggest problems right now are the love handles, right? And um, the extra skin right here due to the weight loss and everything. And Actually, you know, there's some formation here already. Once I start to slim down more here, you'll actually see that definition that's laying underneath this layer here. 
And so this layer here is what I'm talking about. And some people call that extra skin, but it's actually not extra skin. It's actually, you know, a combination of extra skin and fat. And sometimes people think they have extra skin when it's actually just fat and they have to continue to lose weight to lose the rest of that. And what will happen in the process is if they're exercising and building their muscles and sculpting, that extra, the real extra skin will actually pull up and out and it'll form around the muscles and it'll look right. You know, it won't be drooping and sagging if you don't have that much extra skin left over. I just have one inch to go off of my waist to where I, I just had that benchmark and um, of being 28, you know, waist. And uh, just just because it was what, it, what I was when I was a teenager. So I'm really excited about that. Um, of course, I have to exceed that greatly, but uh, that's a very good accomplishment, I feel.